Hi there, back again to this tutorial and we are going to do some uh, project settings. In the previous video we looked at image scaling and now this video we want to look at color management and see how we can manage our color setting in DaVinci Resolve 17. Are you ready? Let's see how it really is. The first thing you notice that we have different sections here we have the color space and transforms we have the dolby vision dolby vision i'll explain that in a minute and hdr 10 plus we have lookup tables we have broadcast save all right so let's first go to color space and transforms now what this really means is just like our setting that helps you to have a different color space and a transform that is kind of like a format by which you view your color spectrum is displayed in davinci resolve i just want to toggle between different stuff here you have the DaVinci YRGB you have the DaVinci YRGB color managed you have the SSCT you know CCT and you can just choose any that you want but I prefer the YRGB the DaVinci one that's kind of default and I really like that you can try out other options there I just really prefer that you set up everything just by default to make sure that you have the best experience it's good to explore timely color space now this is kind of like a space or it's like the color of your timeline that you are setting up could be you want to have one you want it to have like a thousand needs you want to have to like two thousand needs or four thousand needs just use any that you really want to have like a panasonic v gamut a vlog you know any setting here that you do it's just gonna appear differently but if you really know more about color space just go on and choose the default one that you really want to have but i just prefer that this direct 70 701 scene is just good for me because it gives me the best image that i want you can also turn on the hdr mastering uh, for different needs here because uh, hdr means high dynamic range and so you are doing up some some setting that is kind of helping you to specify a different uh, color range or color spectrum range which is really great so um you can turn that on and specify the different needs if you're a color pro it could be a colorist and you want to have your settings just the way you want them i'm not gonna go into that it's kind of big for this uh, tutorial option here which is the dolby vision now dolby vision is kind of like the latest version of color management they have really invaded some really good dynamic ranges which have really changed uh, DaVinci Resolve to be a greater program. I really just like the way they do this stuff. And then you can enable Adobe Vision. So when you enable this, that means you have more control of even choosing the version of Adobe Vision. Of course, Adobe uh, has ranged from really so many, but I just really prefer the 4.0 version and that's really great for me. You can also uh, change the mastering display. Mastering display is kind of like the default mother display color format of Adobe Vision and so you can choose any that you really want here. I always go with this. Yeah, that's that's really cool for me. The 4000 nit and then you have you can also go with 2000 nit whichever really you want. But I'm just going to go with that. Now, HDR 10 plus. 10 plus is kind of like a version of high dynamic range which is built into DaVinci Resolve 17, especially the studio version and you have more control of your high your dynamic range. You can enable that and when you enable that, you allow DaVinci Resolve to increase your color spectrum, your dynamic range. You have more control over colors to grade them and correct them and do fancy stuff within the color page. I'm not going to go too much into that. I want to turn your eyes to lookup tables. Now guys, lookup tables are just like color grading presets that are built into DaVinci Resolve. And guys, DaVinci Resolve gives you really a lot of presets here and you, they're also accessible within the color page. Now you can go on and choose any here but I'm just gonna leave it non-selected because I am not on the color page so I don't even know which loot I am selecting over here now if you already have a name for it please just go on and, and choose any that you really want to have could be someone has already told you that hey man use this color grading preset it's gonna be best for you so just choose that and there you go now this is the input you can also choose the output you can also choose the video monitoring body monitor lookup table and color viewer lookup table and different stuff gear going over here 3d lookup table interpolation trilinear or tetrahedral so just choose any that you really want to have but i just prefer leaving everything 
as default here i'm just gonna leave it to non selected broadcast safe now broadcast is kind of like when you have some capture device and you are doing a live stream and so you want to have some labels of your ire your color spectrum say it in a different style that you want to have so that's really great when you are making a broadcast you can also make your broadcast safe just to make sure that you have a different a more detailed color broadcasting format i'm just gonna say safe and that's it for today guys thanks for watching other tutorials down below and check them out bye bye